Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta Crown of the Magister Palace of Ice. Last time we got started on our adventure, we made it to this location where we saw an old friend from the council in the previous campaign. Just before we set off with Vigdis here, I did check that we are all wearing the best armor that we have. I also gave a plus one crossbow here and a plus one heavy crossbow here. We are not worth wielding a crossbow with in any capacity and here we have our magic in our offhand anyway so we sold off some of the extra stuff that we have and otherwise we are ready i think to get on the road have we cast mage armor on ourselves yet yes yes we have all right let's get on the road Relationship improved with the Southern Clans. Sympathy plus 20. I will take it. I would like you, please, to be wielding that. You can wield that. You're wielding that. Good. You're fine as you are. And off into the mysterious blue rectangle. We have gained... Vigdis Kaikunen. We have a plus one Warhammer that does plus 10... 1d10 lightning damage. A 1d8 plus 2 bow and a whole bunch of battle cleric looking spells. Well, they are a critical character, but I think between us, we should be quite all right. So are we getting a world map now or are we just staying on regular path? We are getting a world map. Okay. Right, so... We're down here in the south. There's a few places around and about that we can see, but we cannot go back to anywhere in the previous campaign, which makes sense. And so we can access that place again for trading and stuff in the future if we need to, but for now, we are gonna travel six days up here. We have lots of food and I think, although, can I check? Spell, cra spell casting here. We do not have create food prepared because we probably took it off for the final battle. So on our next long rest, that will be something to prioritize. For now though, we're off. Who knows what kind of random encounters we could get on the road here, particularly because we're at high level in an unknown place and the campaign's just kind of starting right from the off. I don't think they're going to go too easy on us too early, given what we've done previously. Also, we should consider crafting if we can. We've got loads of stuff for superior healing potions, so we'll get one of those going. Is there anything we fancy down here? White burn, short, sharp sword of acuteness, scimitar of acuteness. Mace of Smashing, Dagger of Acuteness, Dagger of Sharpness. What does this do? 1d6 plus 1 piercing damage, 1d6 acid damage. Not that interested. Oh my god. Since when could I craft every spell scroll in the history of the universe? Fireball needs sapphires... Haste doesn't need anything too unique, does it? So you have to have the spell prepared in order to craft the spell, I imagine. Or at least known to you in your spell book. So let's craft a scroll of lightning bolt. Because we can. Here, another one of those. And here... also scribe spells is there anything worthwhile doing god I don't know I can't even remember all the tiny pictures now let's just go with another one of these in case we need it also did that say it only takes like yeah four checks to make one of those now Seems like not many. Now, we don't get to go through the uh, spell prep on that screen. An old fortified bridge that used to control access to the snow lines. Okay, then. Here we go. Ambush! Sorax! Take cover! 
Look out for that spellcaster. Oh dear. Okay, what is going on here? We have more of us. We have city guards on our side. Interesting. Sorakath Abomination. AC 18. 254 HP. Where's the spellcaster? Is this a tiny bit loud? Is that just me? There's a bridge over there. Assassins at the back. Where is this battle mage? There. We cannot jump over that. Alright then. Oh, we can't even close that gap far enough to attack them either. Alright then. In that case, we use this turn to take on our sacred weapon. Channel divinity to bless one weapon... For one minute, add your charisma modifier to hit with that weapon. The weapon also emits bright light over four cells and dim light over four more, and the weapon attacks count as magical. Uh, oh, I regret that immediately. Although... Our bard does have counter spell as well. Because the spellcaster is the thing I'm most concerned with right now. Action surge. Three plus five, six plus five is not going to be super helpful. <laughs> what a tool. Oh, we don't have mage armor at the start of the day when we're traveling, which is also super annoying. Okay. I think there's only one thing to do here. And that is Spirit Guardians at 5th level. Also, Bardic Inspiration for Evelyn. They are going to be crucial in a moment. Because I want to hurt that guy as badly as possible, as fast as possible. And I think our best chance to do that is going to be a high level one of these. Oh, we cannot see this target. Are you joking? If we can't see over this wall, we're going to have problems, man. Alright then. Change tack. Go high. To a spot we can see. With an insect plague. It's a shame I can't see both of those tiles. Can't see any of these tiles. Oh, I misclicked, didn't I? God damn it. Alright. I'm already mad. Here. We don't have spirit guardians. Which is a shame. Flame Strike, Hold Monster, Dispel Good and Evil, Guardian of Faith, Phantasmal Killer, Banishment? Do you reckon we could banish the big guy? Two D six grants warm. Guardian of Faith, conjure a large spectral guardian that damages approaching enemies. Alright, we'll try this.
Interesting. Right, we're up. Where we are... Oh, damn. Yep. That's a bad time. But, Sunbeam... It's going to be a real good time. Right, they're now blinded. They took 27 damage. We're now concentrating on that spell. They are resisting attacks with non-magical weapons. And back to the top. So now we can start attacking. We roll plus... Oh my god. A nat 1 plus 17. But obviously you do not hit on a nat 1. Well done. Start smiting. They take radiant damage. Spirit Guardian's doing great work. Are we getting sneak attacked here? Yes, we are, but only 2d6. No, the city guards are not critical. It's only our friend that is the critical one. God, this is going rough, isn't it? Thank you, Flawless Concentration. Okay. A small swing back in a good direction for us. We will take an attack of opportunity here. Uh, a standard hit. Smite there. 30 damage. They, I think, are desperately trying to get out of our area of effect. How does this horn work? Cone. That's no good to us where we're stood. We are already concentrating on our spirit guardians. So we want to push up as much as we can to keep that Spirit Guardians following these two. So let's Shadow Dagger this guy. Eight Psychic Damage. And Bardic Inspiration for Orc Scar. Right. That has gone real, real terribly. We cannot see them for the life of us. So we are going to be much better off concentrating on something else that is actually making an impact in this fight. Question is, what? Well, if I can get both of these guys in a fireball, I will. Difficult working around these spheres, man. I can't even see when that guy is in the AoE. Fine, not that. Alright, let's try Divine Intervention. We need a spot over on. Failed, we rolled 88. Alright, I might regret that. Over here. And our AoE options are not great here. 
This guy's right in front of us. Honestly, just hit this guy twice. Impressive move, my friend. Yep, good start. Possibly shouldn't be putting her right in harm's way at the front here, but you know. Mass healing word, misty step, shield of faith, healing word. This guy has decided to join the party. I think there's still a bunch of invisible guys around us. That guy is flying. They are casting blindness. Uh, Vigdis can definitely use her spell slots for that. God, not being able to hit that guy is a real pain in the dick. Can I sunbeam him? It didn't hit him. I'm so mad about this wall. Good crit, that guard. Right, where are we? We're here. Right, let's go after this guy. You should have fled. Dead, and then push up. Hit this guy. Good. Saving the big smites for crits, because then we get to roll double the dice, naturally. Are you okay? Thank you, flawless concentration. God, these guys are in the wall. That's why I haven't seen them. Jeez. That guy does not have high health for sitting up there. Scorching Ray. Nine hull damage. Good work. The 30 to hit was rather a lot. Bella. We still want to have them both in our AoE for the sake of Spirit Guardians. Oh, the guy's over here! I've just ruined those two being in the area of effect as well. But this looks good. Six whole damage. One, two, six, two, two, halved. All right, we're going to stand here to be their AoE. And honestly, get a fourth level spiritual weapon out here to help. Oh, I could have attacked with it. I'm so bad. Oh, there's so much stuff I don't remember. Do we have Thunder Wave? We do not. That is the wrong, wrong character. Honestly, then, I'm just going to go and hit this guy. We still miss with Bardic Inspiration. Oh my god. I'm mad. I'm very mad. We're going to do a fourth level one of these here. And remember to hit with it this time. Natural one. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Fireball's not great here. Right. Just 
Give me some help. Twenty-eight radiant damage is smashing. You've seen worse. Thank you, flawless concentration. That's a little more like it. Good. Right, top of the order, back to the paladin. Let's try and kill this slightly weaker one between us. You have them now. Yeah, here's hoping. These guys get sneak attack every time because they're attacking as a pair. And so if they hit, they are within five feet of an ally when we get hit. So every one of their attacks that does hit does 2d6 extra damage. Man, these guards have got good AC, huh? Acid arrow. Not that big a deal. They jumped back and fell, but they're not in my freaking insects, are they? Right. Hit that guy. Or not. Sure. Nice. Good use of the horn. Good spiritual weaponing and all. Oh, and here I thought it was going well. Okay. We are here. Best use of attack. Probably that. Next time. Or not. Fine. Really, I should just have like eight instances of spirit guardians going on. Bella might die. Or might go down. That would be real, real bad. Right, we can either hit this guy, or we can give Bella HP. And I think giving Bella HP right now is more important. So we both get 60 temporary HP. Good work, that guard. Back to us here. We're going to kill this guy. Now we crit when we don't need it. Oh! Oh! What is that? Saw a calf, cracked char, and a vrock, a large fiend. That's a real, real bad time. Where's this guy? Up there. All right, that is very clearly someone else's problem. can just about, but I don't love it. Thank goodness for flawless concentration, huh? Oh my god. 
That's very rude. Tell you what, from here, I would have line of sight on them. But I don't know how actually helpful to me that would be right now. Twenty damage is solid. None of this is really super, super strong for me right now, man. All right. Instead. Let's just go with simple stuff. See what we're up against. All right, only plus five on their wisdom saving throw, but they did roll with advantage, which is terrifying. Cone of cold, absolutely get countered. We failed. Oh God. I forgot we can fail spell things. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a real, real bad time. Real bad time. You, kill that. Right now, kill it. Close. Fine, hit that. Pass. Dead. Good. Then, switch to a ranged attack. Hit this. Strike. It's not stunned. Oh, God. How badly hurt is everybody? Kind of really badly. I don't even know where I need to stand for mass kill wounds to be effective. Target each once, target within six cells of each other. One, two, three. Four. Five. Why can I not... Who is this? Is that a facsimile of Orc Scar or something? I'm confused. Maestro. I'll remember. That was actually pretty solid. What is that statue-looking thing? Is it a guard that died and got turned to ice? Maestro is stunned and no longer concentrating on moon, on sunbeam. Oh god, I hate so many things right now. This guy needs to die. Yes. Surrender or die. All right. Just be dead. That's going to help because that guy was hitting us like three times at a pop. And. We'll put ourselves as a more attractive target for stuff, I think. Alright, this guy does not have very high AC, which is good. What are you doing now? Just cantrips from them, which is a good sign.
I would love to get Maestro out of that stun, but I'm not sure how I would. Counter charm's no good. A lot of this stuff is no good, really. Polarity. Choose one target. They fall down prone and become incapacitated. Take psychic damage until they save or until their turn ends. Ah, uh, but no. I do not want to concentrate on that instead. Fine. Cantrips on the Vorok for now. Plus seven on the Wisdom Saving Throw. Gravity Slam. Um, counterspell at fifth level, please. We failed? Jesus wept. Right, you are incapacitated. You're incapacitated. Not a great look on us, is it? Your 70 hit points and also remove blindness and diseases. Mask your wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. You bastard. Oh, Jesus, wet, dude. This is the second fight in the campaign. I'm glad I wasn't playing on Iron Man mode, or I'd be much more afraid right now. Right. We cannot get up to that guy. Can we actually get up to hit this thing? We can. Defeat me. Right, that is a good chunk of its HP. Screw crit fishing. I want that thing dead. Yes, city guard. Shadow dagger. It's fine. Can handle that. Bella, you're up. This guy won't have had his reaction back yet. So maybe we will cast Hilarity on him, out of range. What's the range on Hilarity? Alright, they're incapacitated, but they don't fall to the ground, which is annoying. No longer incapacitated. They took some damage and are now regenerating. That's no fun. I need to get out of range of this Brock. They are nearly dead, though. So, if you could kill it, amazing. Close. I want to attack him with a ranged weapon to stun him. But I can't do that right now from here at disadvantage, most likely. Yeah. It's not going great. What? We miss on a 19? Jesus. Big Dis is back up. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I owe you. Spores. Well, we all save, so I don't know what that was about. Maestro's back in the party. Hey, Maestro. How have you been? Lovely to see you. 
God, I wish I could see that battle mage. Right, we only have half of our movement because we got up. How much health does this thing have? Can't be much. Perfect number of darts. They're going to start going the long way round to the target that they can see on the ground. Right, who's most injured here? That city guard is not doing great. Evelyn's not doing great. the role play let's give that guy like 25 health because I would love to keep him alive now those two are going around the corner this guy is basically out of good spells it seems Cold, fifth level. Okay. Strike. That's battle. Not stunned, damn it. Well, we're out of those now until we rest. We're going to miss with that. We're going to drag this as far over as we can, which is not very apparently. Best options for us. Let's try and proc shields or something for their reaction. Nope, just 15 damage off three darts. Not bad. All right then, let's go. light if we can get in range which we probably can which is annoying okay then in that case they must be in that sphere right arcana evo malmis Nine whole damage. Unbelievable. Good jump. How are we going to be helpful? Not like that. I mean, it's something, right? That was our last spear in hand, though. More shadow dagger. What can we do? What can we do? Not very much at all, and I hate it. <sighs> Blade barrier via a ring. Jesus wept. This guy's not getting any easier to hit. Right then, let's go after the classics. No. Oh 
god. Well, there's counter spell. Back out it again. God, I would just I would die to be further over that bridge. Apparently there's a lot of detritus in the way here. Alright, we're nearly down through half of this guy's health. Those two better be able to handle that guy over there. Alright. Ready melee attacks, I guess. The other thing I might do in a minute, if I can, Shadow Dagger, you can use Shadow Dagger, that's fine. is I may give um, brain, 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 brain. If I can, I might give flight for the paladin. That might be a decent way of actually doing some damage around here. Because this sure isn't. Uh, it wasn't terrible. Casting a spell. We countered an unknown spell. That's a good one. That's a very good one. God, I hope we get a chance to rest after this. This has been brutal. I guess we're on the road, so quite possibly. Fourteen fire damage isn't terrible. Hey, what then? More fireballs. These guys now can't hit that guy because they have no place to stand to do it, so they don't have any great place to be. A dash. How close around here do I get? Literally there. Although that's now in the path of those fireballs I've been launching, which may be unwise. Good try. Right, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, we're not going to have the range for shatter, are we? We are going to have the range for shatter. Five thunder damage. Well worthwhile. Alright, they get one more go. Fourth level counter. At least when we're counterspelling them, they're not attacking us, right? What is our to hit? Hopefully it's enough. Nope. We have fireballs. Nope, we do not. 
We have magic missile, though. Getting there. One damage. Seven damage. Better. Honestly, we're good for like nothing right now. Dodge action. Good. Shadow Dagger is fine. We're good at that one. So are they. I got lazy with these guys thinking the fight would be over sooner than it was. Counters Blight, that's good. Glad to have countered Blight. Thank goodness. Right. We just need spots that we can see this guy from with these bits of broken wall. Any luck. We can hit them and this fight can be over. Did you see that? What kind of monster was that? New kinds of Sorax. No, they didn't have anything in common with Sorax. They seem to fight together. Marshal Sunblaze was right to suspect something. I'm sorry I brought you into this. Don't be. If Sorax are plotting in the Snow Alliance, then that's where we need to go. Thank you. We need to rest. Let's set up camp. Yes, please. Sure. Is there no loot? There must be loot. Yeah, give me everyone. We've got enough XP to level up to 13, which is exciting. There's a whole, like, caravan of pedestrians and the like around the place. But that guy, at the very least, cast a spell from a ring. So we definitely should check that. There's also these things down here. Animal friendship, hands, bits and pieces. Light is always oh, okay. That's what that is. Here I thought that was going to be uh, loot or something. This certainly is not. Is that a container? That is. Cash, cash, cash. Badlands bear meat. A horn. Javelins. And then just before we finish. Oh, there's a couple of plants. We'll grab those. And then we'll make the jump over to see if there was anything interesting here. Clothes. Dagger. Cash. Scroll of magic weapon. Okay, that seems to be most anything worth very much. Where did they say camp was? There is a camp over there. Alright, 
We'll get to the end of the bridge as a party, and I will say thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. I promise next time I will play better. Made a lot of mistakes today, and I appreciate that. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.